What if you could plug in a graphics card and instantly transform your laptop or mini PC into a full-blown gaming and content creation machine, without cracking open a single case? Welcome back to Mini PC Tech, where we talk about all things Mini PC. This is Mike, your host. That's the promise behind the GMKTECADGP1, a tiny external GPU dock that comes bundled with AMD's RX 7600M XT graphics chip. It's compact, lightweight, and surprisingly powerful for its size. And today, we're diving into the GMKTECADGP1 to see whether this sleek little box lives up to its potential, or if it's just another accessory looking for a use case. If you're into powerful setups in small form factors, be sure to hit subscribe and tap the bell so you never miss a review. And check the description for the best deals on the Ad GP1 and other mini PC gear I've reviewed. Let's get into it. Right out of the box, the Ad GP1 feels solid and well built. It's about the size of a paperback novel, roughly 16 by 11 centimeters and weighs just under 0.7 kilograms. You could easily toss this in a backpack or a drawer, and forget it's even there. It's finished in matte black with ventilation on both sides and a subtle GMKTEC logo on top. I wouldn't call it flashy, but it's definitely clean, modern, and it fits right in with a minimalist desk setup. Now, don't stand it vertically, this is important. The intake vents are on the bottom and sides, and if you block those, that the manufacturer reports that the internal GPU can overheat pretty quickly under load. Inside, the Ad GP1 comes pre-installed with AMD's Radeon RX 7600M XT. This is a mobile GPU based on RDNA3 architecture, with 8GB of GDDR6 memory, and a game clock of up to 2300MHz. And in case you're wondering, yes, this is a real GPU. Not integrated graphics, not something cut down for casual use. This thing can run modern titles at 1080p and even 1440p, with high settings and smooth frame rates. People have reported that they were able to play Cyberpunk 2077 at 1080p on high settings with consistent performance. And if you're doing creative work like 4K video editing or 3D rendering, the Ad GP1 handles that just as well, especially paired with something like a Ryzen Mini PC. It's not a top-tier desktop card, of course, but for the size and price, it's pretty remarkable. Where the Ad GP1 really starts to separate itself is in the port selection and connectivity. Around the back, you've got two HDMI 2.1 ports and two DisplayPort 2.0 outputs, all capable of 8K at 60Hz. That means you can run up to four displays from this single dock. Whether you're a stock trader, video editor, or just someone who wants a serious multitasking setup, this covers you. You've also got a USB 4 port, which is backward compatible with Thunderbolt 3 and 4. But the real gem here is Oculink. If you're not familiar with Oculink, it's a newer high-speed connection standard that uses PCIe Gen 4x4, meaning lower latency and higher bandwidth compared to Thunderbolt. In simple terms, less bottleneck, better frame rates, faster data flow between the GPU and your system. If you're using a mini PC that supports Oculink, like some newer models from GMKTEC or Minisforum, you're going to get desktop level responsiveness out of this setup. Now, as with any eGPU, setup is important, and there are a few things to keep in mind. First, always power off both devices before connecting or disconnecting cables, especially if you're using Oculink. You can brick a connection by hot swapping. Second, if you're using a system with integrated Intel Arc or AMD graphics, make sure you uninstall conflicting drivers. That'll save you from a bunch of troubleshooting down the line. Third, Mac users, beware. While this does support USB 4, macOS still has pretty inconsistent support for eGPUs, so this isn't a great option if you're using an M-series Mac. For Linux users, you'll need to manually install drivers, and expect some tinkering. In terms of cooling, the Ad GP1 performs better than I expected. 
It uses GMK Tech's Super Ice Room 2.0 architecture, basically a combination of a copper heat sink and active cooling fan. Even under heavy load, the GPU should stay under 75 degrees Celsius, and fan noise is minimal, definitely quieter than a full-sized gaming laptop. Just make sure you leave some space around the vents. It doesn't get hot to the touch, but it does need airflow. So, who is this for? If you're a gamer who wants to turn your laptop or mini PC into a 1080p or 1440p gaming rig, the Add GP1 is a solid choice. If you're a creative professional looking for portable rendering power, this gives you real GPU performance without lugging around a full tower. And if you're just looking for something to power a quad display productivity setup without breaking the bank, the Add GP1 handles that with ease. So, what's the final verdict? At around $550 to $600, the GMK TECAD GP1 is a compelling all-in-one eGPU dock. You get a real AMD GPU, quad display support, Oculink and USB 4 compatibility, and excellent cooling, all in a form factor that weighs less than your average gaming mouse. It's not for everyone, but for the right use case, it's hard to beat. Like spending money for expensive speakers with a $100 receiver, it's not going to work well with a low-end mini PC. If you want to check it out for yourself and buy one, I've got links in the description below. As always, if you have any questions about this or any other mini PC gear, drop a comment and I'll do my best to help out. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and tap the bell so you never miss another compact tech review. This is Mike, signing off, see you in the next one.